<laughs> Hello, welcome to Fito Thai Kitchen. Today we going to show you the ingredient we using for Thai food and for the people who start to cook Thai food. Some of you request that for us to do the video all the other ingredients for Thai food yeah, baby. Mm. okay we start the first ingredient this one the light soya sauce we use this brand yeah, to me this is the best one the brand is the healthy boy I use this one because to me it's the uh, the quality is quite good all very good and easy to get you can get from anywhere Thai supermarket or Sainsbury Tesco and the price is uh, reasonable and then next one uh, fish sauce fish sauce you can use this brand uh, squid brand and we use this one also yeah, the same the quality is not too bad you can get from anywhere the price also quite cheap and is it uh, a little bit smell of fish that's why <laughs> when you cook you can you can smell yeah, the sauce. Yeah, and yeah, uh, and also a little bit uh, less salty from the other brand. And uh, most important is easy to get. And next one, next one is the sweet soya sauce. <clears throat> if you cook some some dish, if you use this one, this one is sweet and dark, right? And then you don't need to put sugar. Yeah, they have the sugar cane in here, the contain sugar cane, and uh, also the same brand, the uh, Healthy Boy. You can get from the supermarket also. And uh, the next one is oyster sauce. Okay, <laughs> this brand they call Macrua. Yeah, because they have the 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 small bottle, easy, just uh, cook at home, not in the restaurant. If you in the restaurant, you can use this brand, Li Kim Ki, the one, the Chinese one, we, they have the big uh, can. That's why if uh, at home, you can use this one. Yeah, baby. Mm. And uh, black pepper. Not a lot we use black pepper. And uh, Thai, also Thai food, the basic one. You cannot cook without chili, this one, bird eyes, right? We call bird eyes. Pikinu. Yeah, I don't know, pikinu or yeah, if really yeah. pikinu is very tiny one and very hot. Mm. And this one, uh, yeah, just, just called bird eyes. But I don't know why they call bird eyes. You can use green and red together. And a uh, coffee or lamb leaf. You can get also from the supermarket. And then you can buy in the package. Fresh one after leftover can keep in the frozen, right? And then uh, coconut sugar or palm sugar, anything you can use. The quality is the same. We use the this brand. Yeah, it easy to open the packet and uh, a little bit soft inside, easy to melt. Garlic. Yeah, I don't need to explain. Yeah, where you get from anywhere. Green lamb, you can use green lamb or lemon. Uh, shallot, this one English shallot. Uh, the size is big, if Thai shallot, the size is small. Coconut milk, you can use any brand, but I like this brand because very white inside. It's not too thick, they don't contain uh, a lot of uh, flour inside. Some brand, they put too much flour. And uh, lemongrass. Also, you can get now in lemon class, you can get even the small market. You can get, uh, as I said, if uh, leftover, you can keep in the frozen and then reuse it again and not reuse and uh, take it out and use it again. Galanga, now Thai ingredient, you can get anywhere. That's why Thai food become very popular. And Krachai, only some uh, dish, special dish, you can use this one. Uh, they call krachai and uh, sweet basil 
also can get from anywhere. Don't have to buy the big bunch. Can get the small bunch. Just use one time. This one, don't put, don't keep in the frozen. After you take out, becomes soaky. Yeah. If you want the Thai basil, you cannot get sometime. Not all the time. Or you can get from Thai supermarket. And the curry paste depends on how you like it. If you like red, you get red. This one, the big packet, you can get small packet. Yeah, or also this one now easy to get. This one green curry, I show you. You can get red curry, panang curry, masman curry. And then now, I think the basic, just uh, all this one, you can make a few dishes. You just uh, watch from uh, my video or anyone you like. Yeah, baby. And now all the equipment, uh, the paste motor. Yeah, or you, you can uh, you can crush this one or this one, put this one. Or if this one, if you don't have, you can use a blender, a mini blender. I think maybe this one more easy. Yeah, you just put and uh, spin inside. Yeah, the wok. Yeah, we use this one, but only a little bit heavy. But it's uh, easy to clean. Steel, yeah? Stainless steel. That's why I said quite heavy. But your, your wrist have to be strong. <laughs> and then, okay, this one, the benefit, when you use, you cook something with this one or vinegar, the acid don't break down, right, or come out to your food. This one we call healthy. That's why and a little bit more expensive. Yeah, okay, if you use the aluminum, right, the acid can break down the surface and then go into your food, right? That, that's why nowadays, yeah, we, the, the people or the restaurant, they only use this one, even a little bit uh, expensive or heavy, right? But if you, you compare to the benefit you get, it's worth the money you pay, okay? Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of you requested all the ingredients. Some of you requested about the ingredients. Do a video okay. About what we use. Some of you requested. Oh, I I know this one. I cannot be the actor. Some of you requested what ingredient what ingredient we use. Okay, and I hope this video can help you yeah, to get the idea for start to cook the basic Thai cooking, right? And uh, any, anything or you can uh, send a request, we reply, okay? All right, thank you for today. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs>